We're here with Chamber Wrestling. We're about to get started on WAD 12.1. I want to give you a little bit of instruction on that before we get going. Um, before any WAD, I want to make sure that you're warm. That means you're going to start with high knees. Get those high knees out wide. Get those butt kicks in. Get your hips nice and loose. If you want to do some karaoke, that's fine. After you get all that in and your legs are nice and loose, I want you to get a good jog in. All right? I'm here at my local elementary school. I'm about a half an hour from my home. The idea is that uh, I could have ran down. I decided to take my car. While I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off 55 large steps. And then I'm going to mark that spot. Okay? And so if I start at one end, I run those 55 steps, and I come back, that's considered one lap. If I do 55 large steps, it's almost like doing 55 yards, which is actually a 30-second of a mile. Okay? You run four of those laps, down and back, down and back, down and back, down and back. That's a quarter mile. If you do eight laps, that's a half a mile. I prefer eight. If you decide to get in four, that's fine. You do what you got to do. Now, that's before you start the wide. You get nice and warm. After you get that jog in, I want you to make sure you hit your arm circles. Small circles forward, small circles backward, large circles forward, large circles backward with your fingers down. We worked on that in practice. Now, the idea behind that is your shoulders are nice and warm, your hips are nice and warm, your heart rate's up, you're ready to go. Okay. After that, we're going to start the wad. On our wad, what we're going to do today is we're going to do an AMRAP. It's going to be a 10-minute AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many reps as possible. And the idea behind that is you want to get as many reps as possible. The first thing you're going to do is 10 max high jumps. I want you to walk up to the wall. Mark the wall with your hand. Okay. That lets you know how high you can reach. I want you to bend your knees, squat down, swing your arms, jump up, and touch the wall as high as you can touch it. Once you do that, that's one rep. All right. I'm looking for 10 max height jumps. After that, you're going to get down and you're going to do uh, eight hand release push-ups. A hand release push-up is where you go all the way down. You let your chest, chest touch the ground. Release your hands from the ground. Put them back down and press all the way to full extension. Now, this stuff where you're leaving your elbows half bent at the top of your push-up. You got to make sure your back's flat and your butt's down. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. The other thing is keep your hands below your shoulders. On a proper push-up, your thumbs are almost touching your rib cage when you go down. The idea behind that is a lot of you guys have your hands way up too high above your heads, and that's a more difficult push-up. You're making more hard work on you. You're making more hard work for yourself. The idea after that, you did 10 max high jumps, eight hand release push-ups, then we're gonna go into a burpee. Now I'm doing mine on here, so I'm not gonna be hitting the ground as hard as I would like if I was on a wrestling mat, but at some point in time, my sternum has to touch the cement. I'm gonna hop back up and I wanna get a good six inch hop in. Some of you guys have to jump over things to make sure you get that hop in. That's fine. You set a little shirt or a towel on the ground, make sure you jump over that for your burpee. You hit back down. Now you're gonna do six burpees, followed by four wall walks. A wall walk is where you start push up position with your feet at the base of the wall. You walk your hands back towards the wall and you walk your feet up the wall. Okay? You keep going until your belly touches the wall and then you come back down. I'm gonna be doing this on cement today, so I'm not gonna be rolling it out. Some of you guys like to do that. That's fine on a wrestling mat, but here today, I'm gonna to walk it back down. Some of you guys who are new to it, no rolling out. You have to walk your feet back down and walk your hands back out. That's one rep. You get back up, I want four wall walks all together. Um, and again, rolling out isn't gonna count. I'm looking at you, Ryan Cuss. You know you're doing it. The idea behind that is you don't wanna roll and hurt your neck on the first wad of the first postseason workout getting ready for the preseason type stuff all right we're technically in the off season right now all right I'm gonna go ahead and get warm when I come back I'm gonna set my watch I got my watch here my set watch is set for 10 minutes I'm gonna put that bad boy on hit go I'm gonna go for a full 10 minutes and get as many reps as possible you guys at home I'm looking for five rounds I want five rounds from you so that means you're gonna do max height jumps five times for 50 full max height jumps you're going to do four wall walks five times for 20 full wall walks. All right. If you if if you're done and there's still time on the clock, you keep going. Go until you're dead. That 10 minute mark is up. Then you're up. You record how many rounds you got, how many reps you got after that. You come back and talk to me. OK, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're about to get started. Let's do it.